Hello friends, this is Chaitanya Lahari from Vyans Medical Academy. I would like to discuss about polymers. What are polymers? How can it play a major role in our daily life? The things which we use in our daily life mainly composed by polymers. Example, cups, buckets, dust bins, electronic devices, toys, etc. The word polymer is coined from two Greek words. Poly means many, mers means a part or unit. Formation of the polymers, respective monomers, is called the polymerization. Example, ethane. Ethane transformation into polyethane. Basically, polymers are classified into five types based on source, structure, molecular force, monomer, and mechanism. Coming to first classification, source. Based on source, the polymers are classified into three types. Nature, natural, semi-synthetic, synthetic. First, natural. It is a naturally occurring polymer. Examples are cellulose, starch, protein, etc. Next, semi-synthetic. It is also naturally occurring polymer. Some chemicals are added into the laboratory to form a semi-synthetic polymer. Examples are cellulose acetate and cellulose nitrate. Next, synthetic. It is a completely man-made polymer. Examples are bunias, bunion, neoprene, etc. Next, structure. Second classification is structure. Based on structure, polymers are classified into three types. Linear, branch, cross-linked. First, linear. It is a high density, high melting and high tensile strength of polymer. Examples are high density polythene and silk nylon 6, nylon 6, 6, etc. Next, branched. In this polymer chain consists of some of the branches or side chains. So, it is a low density polythene, low melting point. Examples are amylopectin and glycosin. Next, cross-linked. In this polymer chain consists of some of the cross-linked three-dimensional network. So, it is a hard, rigid. Uh, examples of this cross-linked polymer, bakelite, melamine, formaldehyde, etc. Next, third classification, molecular force. Based on molecular force, the polymers are classified into four types. Elastomers, fibers, thermoplasting, and thermosecting. First, elastomer. A weak molecular force of attraction existing between the polymer chain is called elastomers. Examples of these uh, elastomer, neoprene, bunias, bunion. Next, fiber. A strong molecular force of attraction existing between the polymer chain. Here consists of two types of bond. One is a hydrogen bond, example nylon 6, 6. Another one is a dipole-dipole interaction, example polyester and terlin. Next, thermoplasting. The force of attraction existing between the elastomers and fibers to form a thermoplastic polymer. Examples are polyvinyl chloride, polyester, polythene, etc. Next, thermosetting. It is a hard, rigid, insoluble, infusible polymer. Examples are bakelite, melamine, and formaldehyde. And coming to fourth classification, based on monomer. Based on monomer, the polymers are classified into two types: homopolymer and copolymer. First, homopolymer. It consists of only one type of monomer. Examples are cellulose, starch, monomer is glucose, and copolymer. Here consists of two types of two a uh, different type of monomer example nylon 6, 6 monomer is hexamethyl di diamine and adipic acid and next coming to fifth classification based on mechanism based on mechanism the polymers are classified into two types addition polymerization and condensation polymerization first addition polymerization it is also called chain growth polymerization formation of the giant molecule from simple molecule without any elimination of the polar molecule is called the addition polymerization. First one is polyvinyl chloride. Uses of this polyvinyl chloride is handbags, raincoats, vinyl floorings, etc. Next, tetrafluoroethene is nothing but Teflon. Uses of this Teflon, non-stick surface, uh, non surface and coating utensils. Next, polyacronitrile. Uses of this polyacronitrile is Orlan. And coming to condensation polymerization, it is also called step growth polymerization. Friends, you remember these uses. Monomer of these polymers are very important from this chapter. 
let us discuss one by one first nylon 6 monomer of the nylon 6 is caprolactam it is obtained by the heating of the caprolactam with water at high pressure and second one is nylon 66 monomer of this nylon 6 is hexamethaldiamine and adipic acid it is obtained by the condensation of hexamethaldiamine and adipic acid uses of this nylon 6 and nylon 66 are bristol seats and uh, tire coats fabrics ropes etc next novelac monomer of this novelac phenol and formaldehyde it is obtained by the condensation of phenol and formaldehyde in presence of acid at base catalyst uses of this novelac is paints and coming to four, fourth one melamine and formaldehyde you, it is obtained by the condensation of melamine and formaldehyde uses of this melamine formaldehyde is unbreakable cups and laminated sheets next glyptol monomer of this glyptol ethylene glycol and thalic acid it is obtained by the condensation of ethylene glycol and thalic acid uses of this glyptol paints and liquids and next coming to pdi polydispersity index weight of average molecular mass by number of average molecular mass and if pdi is equals to 1 it has a more homogeneity it is a natural polymer if pdi is greater than 1 it is a less homogeneity it is a synthetic polymer and coming to last subtopic biodegradable polymer uh, they are phbv and nylon 2 nylon 6 first phbv poly beta hydroxy butyrate and co beta hydroxy valerate monomer of this phbv is 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid uses of this phbv spe special packaging and orthopedic devices and another biodegradable polymer is nylon 2 nylon 6 monomer of this nylon 2 nylon 6 is glycine and amino capric acid as this polymers are non biodegradable uh, the affecting environment so to avoid this problem by using eco friendly bags instead of polythene so friends we can easily score four marks from this chapter uh, in particularly neat exam uh, so don't neglect this chapter and vyans medical academy wishes you a good luck for neat 2019 exam and uh, all the best guys thank you